Hey guys, welcome back to Brad Miller time. Tay Maris here with uh, roommate Brendan O'Donnell. We're on our road to Omaha. We're on our, uh, on our first stop here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It's about 11.23 at night we just rolled in. It's been, uh, it's been a long day of travel, but uh, night is winding down. Um, you know, I think we take off pretty early in the morning mm -hmm. tomorrow, that we do. and uh, should uh, get anxious to get back to or to get to Omaha. Absolutely. Well, we're gonna uh, walk off our bus legs and see what a couple of the other guys are doing. What's up, brethren? How are you guys doing? Us guys, kid. It's about 60 degrees warmer here in South Dakota, which isn't really a hard thing to do with a bunch of people, and we pulled into the drive-through and. Like, it's like four or five cars lined up and I'm looking around and I see this this guy standing at the at the drive-thru. And I'm like, who is standing in the drive-thru? It's Mario. <laughs> that was final Lamro Lamro is standing in the line trying to order, tapping on the screen. Yeah. Cars are honking at him, he's yeah. trying to order. So he jumps into a random car because they won't serve him. So he gets into a car with a random person. Oh, that's tough one. Truly strange turn of events. All right, so it turned out the first restaurant was closed. Right now we're heading over to uh, another one. Hopefully it's open. And uh, we're meeting up with rival, some of the rivals. Uh, I think Sankbal and the crew. Sankbal! <laughs> How's the uh, South Dakota treating you? It's good. It's a lovely state. <laughs> it's good, great. Good, I love Arizona. Good people. <laughs> <laughs> Weather's nice. I thought it'd be a little more rocky than that. That's, so. That's a wrap for day one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, we just got to the hotel in Omaha. Started day two. An early morning. The housekeeper woke Brendan and I up two minutes before our alarms went off, so it was a little grumpy. But uh, we're here now. We got some food. What's going on right now? I'll talk to you guys. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> Just uh, with Mike Parks here. Diesel. We're driving by the uh, the arena or the uh, outdoor rink right now. <laughs> it's, uh, on our way to practice uh, Thursday Thursday afternoon practice, and uh, we're in Omaha now, so. Uh, do it. Uh, here with Colton St. Clair. Colton, where are we? Uh, some uh, ice arena about 25 miles away from our hotel uh, for a little bit of practice. Finished up uh, Thursday Thursday practice. Now we're at the Century Link Center, which is where Omaha plays, and uh, just putting the bags in the room and uh, heading off to Thursday meal. So. Nice little surprise here, Thursday before a meal. Get to uh, check out the uh, the outdoor rink where we're playing. Oh. Wow. What do you think? Sick. It's weird though, like how much space it's so small. I, doesn't it? It's like you're just going to play out on the It's pretty nice, man. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Ice doesn't like it too hot though. I heard you guys. What are they going to do about, like, last time? <laughs> we just walked in. <laughs> just finished up with a very delicious Thursday night meal. Um, you know, had a pretty pretty busy day for a Thursday. You know, we got to tour the uh, tour the uh, the baseball baseball diamond or rink, whatever. I don't know what what I don't know what would you call it. Baseball field, <laughs> and uh, you know we. As soon as we got here, we didn't uh, didn't have any room, so Pat, Pat Swanson and uh, Tim Hennessy were in charge of holding down uh, holding down the fort for all the bags, and 
pretty eventful day. Oh, and there's big, uh, big accident on the I-29 uh, semi, and uh, all that. We're stuck next to a uh, truck full of live turkeys. Yeah, that's true. That's true, true story. Yeah. Actually. Actually happened. Picture. <laughs> and uh, but I think uh, as for Thursday, pretty much wraps up today. Wouldn't you say? That'll do it. That'll do it. Deuces. <laughs> Uh, here we are Friday before the game, uh, we're getting something to eat in the hotel, uh, you know, we, we, we were planning on going to eat somewhere, but it took a little long to, uh, to get ready, so blow dry his hair and stuff, so. No, I was showering, Odie was powdering up, blow drying his hair in the room, he, uh, he blew the bolt, the fuse, he had to reset the fuse and everything in the hotel, it went out of power. So, it took a little longer, but yeah, we're going to get a bite now for the other black aces. So, yeah. Yeah, he is not. Dusk, what'd you order? I want a burger. Pretty standard choice. I guess right now we just got some of the guys uh, loading the bus, so, uh, just helping out the uh, the maintenance staff. Just to let you know. <laughs> All this after a big Friday night win. Uh, looking forward to uh, tomorrow's game. Uh, big outdoor game tomorrow. So uh, loading up the bus, head back to the hotel, get something to eat, and then uh, go to bed. It's Friday night, so everything is popping. I got skin to spin on the hand, so let the games begin. Yeah, get it, yeah. You almost hit that gas. <laughs> you should have been standing there. Here with freshman Corbin Knight, oh. carrying his own bag. <laughs> Ten, just got out of court, rolling through the hood in the super sport competition. We, uh, we had a two hour delay, but uh, we're finally heading over to the rink now. Go, uh, to go catch the game, so we're going to go out to the uh, stands. It's going to be pretty exciting out. It's pretty sunny all day, so kind of ruined the ice a little bit. But uh, I think they've got things under control finally, and, and the guys are on the ice warming up, so um, I'm going to go check it out. Man, this is Thumper's territory. 